Hi, in this video I'll be explaining how to do some sparrow tricks. These include sparrow flicking, which allow you to go horizontally very quickly, much faster than just driving a sparrow. Sparrow flying, which allows you to go really high up to places that'd be hard to reach otherwise. And then slipstreaming, which will allow for going far distances that also include dropping down some. First I'll be explaining how to sparrow flick, which will allow you to travel in a straight line much faster than just driving your sparrow. This is kind of a two-part technique, so I'll explain the first and the second part. We can combine those together. The first part is dodging into ourselves as we get off of our sparrow. So if you just hop off your sparrow, you'll notice that you always get off to the left side. So we can use that, and as we're getting off, dodge into ourselves, which will give us a boost of speed to the left. So we want to jump and then dodge as we're getting off. So jump off, and then dodge left. Alright, the next half is to get some speed just from driving the sparrow. So if we're driving the sparrow, we already have some speed, but we want to combine that with what the other part that we already have. So if we can angle the left side to be going in the direction of travel like this by turning right 90 degrees, that will allow us to combine both techniques. So you just want to drive forward, and then stop driving as you turn to the right 90 degrees. Now we can combine those and drive forward, turn right, and then get off and then dodge into ourselves. Just like that. That's gonna give us quite a big boost of speed there, combining the speed from both the driving forwards and then also the dodging sideways. And you'll see I even went so fast that it killed me there. Now that can be done both on flat ground, like I was just doing, or off of a ramp, like this. And that allows you to go much faster than you would just on a sparrow driving normally. Um, if you're on a warlock, you can also use Top Tree Dawn Blade to get some Icarus dashes, which allow you to go even faster. Just like that. One final tip on getting the most speed that you can is right before you're about to get off is to release and reactivate the driving button the one that the boost button so if you look at my boost meter i let go and then i start driving again and that just gives me a little bit more um a little bit more speed right before i'm gonna jump off now i'll be explaining how to sparrow fly for this you're gonna want a sparrow that has the perk these stabilizers and preferably vernier thrusters what Destabilizers lets you do is spin in midair, and Vernier Thrusters will give you two extra dodges. So the Raid Sparrow has both of those built in, and is probably the best one to use if you have it. But if not, other Sparrows can also get those perks, like I have this one with both Destabilizers and Vernier Thrusters. If we just look at this Sparrow, which does not have either of those perks, its dodging is only going to give us four dodges. So I just dodged back and forth only four times. Compare that to a different Sparrow that does have Vernier Thrusters, and that's going to give us six dodges back and forth, which is going to be a lot better for Sparrow flying because you'll have to resummon your Sparrow much less often. Um, and then Destabilizers just allows you to rotate in midair like this, which is also important. So once you have your Sparrow... With destabilizers and veneer thrusters, you're going to want to kind of follow through these steps, practice them. Once you get it down, move on to the next one, and then eventually you'll have sparrow flying down. So the first step is just to jump in the air and then press tab and E to summon your sparrow, or however you might do that on console. You just want to practice that a few times. Summon your sparrow in midair. Jump up, summon your sparrow. Pretty simple. Next step is once you've summoned your Sparrow, you want to activate destabilizers to start rotating counterclockwise. That's going to look like this. And if you're on PC, you'll just be tab E and then shift and A to activate destabilizers to go to the left or counterclockwise. Okay, once you've got that down, practicing a little bit. And then once you have it down, 
The next step is when your head is facing to the left, you're going to double tap D or activate your right sparrow boost, and that's going to send you up a little bit like this. So you can do that a few times, jump up, summon the sparrow, activate the destabilizers, and then double tap D to boost to the right when your right side is facing up. So I messed it up that time. Double tap D. Alright. Once you've gotten that down, after you boost to the right to send you upwards, you're going to want to activate these stabilizers again to continue spinning counterclockwise. And you only want to do that for a short time, so you just want to double tap D and then tap shift and A just for a little bit, just so you can continue spinning and you don't want to do that for too long or else you might like spin out of control like this. That's not good. That was me holding it down compared to this, which is just going to be tapping and that only spin a little bit. Okay, the next step is once you have completed a rotation so that your head is on the right side and the left side of your sparrow is facing up, you're going to want to do your dash to the left and that's going to send you upwards. So you dash to the left and that sent me a little bit sideways because I wasn't perfectly aligned. Do this a few more times. Just like that. Summon the sparrow. Yeah, so you summon your sparrow. Activate destabilizers to go counterclockwise. Boost up when your right side is facing up by using your right boost. Activate destabilizers again counterclockwise to continue the rotation, but only for a short time. Then when your left side is up, you want to boost left, which will also propel you up. And then you'll repeat that cycle. So at the top, you're not going to be activating destabilizers. Then when you get so that your right side is facing up, boost right to propel you upwards. Activate destabilizers as your head goes from on the bottom of the screen. And then activate destabilizers or activate your boost left when your left side of your sparrow is facing up. And you can just repeat that process until you run out of boosts. So it's gonna look something like this. You can do that again. Just continue practicing that. And then once you have that down, the final step to sparrow flying is just to summon your sparrow once you run out of boosts, you'll want to jump off your sparrow when you run out and then just tap tab and E or however you would summon that on console or on controller to resummon your sparrow and then continue the process. And you can go as high as you want with that. Once you've got Sparrow flying down, you can use it to get to hard to reach places, like up there. That would require going all of the way around over there. I think there's like a some lore thing that normally spawns up there somewhere. Um, but Sparrow flying will let you get up there much easier than having to go along the whole parkour platforming area. So we get all the way up here. You'll see we would have had to go over there, and then over there, and then over here, and then do a, all a bunch of jumping. And instead we were able to just fly up, just from over there. Um, and then also, you can use Sparrow Flying rather than just going upwards, you can use it to go sideways. So we just jump off here, and then instead of boosting up, we want to be boosting when our side is kind of more to the right, like this. And we're, we're still keeping our vertical, um, our height, just because we're boosting while we're a little bit still angled up, but also angled to the side, so we're able to just travel horizontally as well. 
So we need to go like all the way over here. Oh, and actually it looks like there might be a a barrier. Oh no, looks like we can get over here. And we were able to go all the way from over there, just over here really fast. And it looks like there's even a little region chest we can go grab. And this is how you can use Sparrow Flying. The last thing I'll be explaining how to do, and definitely the most difficult trick so far, is how to slip streak. For this, you'll want to go to the Hellmouth right here, on this ledge by where Tolan will spawn. And that will let you jump across this entire gap and hopefully make it all the way to the other side. And then if you don't, you'll just fall down in that pit down there, and then it'll respawn you back up here. So the first step, just to get on your sparrow, you want to start boosting, and then as you get off the edge, let go and reactivate your boost. And you'll want to be holding down the, the boost button the entire time that we do this. So I'll do this one more time. If you watch my, my boost meter, it goes down once as I start, and then as I go off the edge, it goes down again as I let go and reactivate my boost. Okay, the next step is once I get off the edge, I'm going to start holding down Shift, A, and S, and that's going to make me rotate backwards and sideways using the destabilizers. And you'll want to let go of all those buttons when your head gets to the bottom right corner of the screen. So I'll do that one more time. Start boosting, hold down Shift, A, and S, and then I let go of all those buttons when my head was in the bottom right. Okay, next step is once, a little bit after I've let go of those buttons, when the left side of my sparrow is facing up, I'm going to double tap A, or use my left dodge, which is going to give me some propulsion upwards, and also a little bit forwards as well. So I'll do that one more time. Drive out the ledge. Do the destabilizers and then dodge left and the left side of my sparrow is facing up. The next step is once I have dodged left, I'm going to start holding down shift and A to start spinning sideways and then S a small time later just so I don't get too much vertical spinning, which is going to help me keep my forward velocity going much easier. So I'll do that one more time. And then the last step is once my head gets to the bottom right again, I'm going to let go and then repeat the process of dodging when the left side of my sparrow faces up and then continuing to use the destabilizers to spin around. And I'm going to use all my dodges and then that should get me all the way across. As a recap, the steps are drive your Sparrow off the edge, deactivate and reactivate your boost as you leave, continue holding down the boost the entire time, start holding down Shift, A, and S, which will start you rotating backwards and to the left. Once your head is facing towards the bottom right corner of the screen, let go of your Shift, A, and S to stop rotating. And then when the left side of your Sparrow points upwards, Double tap A, or dodge to the left, which is going to give you a boost of speed upwards, just so you don't fall down so fast. And then after that, you're going to start holding down Shift and A, which starts you rotating sideways again, and then S a short time later, just so you don't rotate up too much. And then you'll just repeat the process of letting go when your head faces towards the bottom right. And then double tapping A to boost left when the left side of your sparrow is facing up. Just repeat those steps until you run out of boost. Once you get slipstreaming down, it's going to be useful in a couple of places. Mainly in the prophecy dungeon, where you can skip the entire sparrow section just by slipstreaming down it. And what you'll want to do for that is just do it normally until you run out of boost. Then let go of the driving button so your sparrow trail stops. Continue to spin by occasionally tapping Shift A and S, and then once your boosts refill, 
you can just continue to boost like before by double tapping A as the left side of your sparrow goes towards the top of the screen. And then you'll just repeat that process to get all the way down. You can also sparrow fly horizontally like I showed earlier if that's a little bit too tricky. Also, slipstreaming can be used to go along some flat areas. If you find a little ramp like a rock, generally sparrow flicking is going to be faster for this, but slipstreaming can also be used here. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.